Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So in today's episode, I have very high ambitions. I've set myself a goal of trying to defeat all of the mechanical bosses in one episode. So I want to see how well I get on with that. But to make that happen, I actually have to begin like right now because I'm running out of time. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is I need to purchase a crystal ball... And then I need to place down that crystal ball. And then I can make myself an endless musket pouch. And then I need to buy some more arrows. So let's buy some more of those. I don't know how many I need. Maybe a stack full. Maybe a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more. Yeah, okay. So that's how many I need. Let's put it onto auto pause. There we go. Right, so now I can make the endless quiver. So I have unlimited arrows and unlimited bullets. And because I have all that, that now means that I need to buy some potions. And it's funny because I was so rich about five minutes ago in the game. But what happened was I started reforging an accessory. And before you know it, you broke. Okay, so let's see what I need. I need, alright, two of those. Two of those. I don't even know what some of these do. Um, Two of those. Two of those. Get Cadence as well. So we'll alt favorite all of these. All right, and then I need my regular shop. But yeah, I have this goal and I really wanted to try it out because I've been enjoying death mode so far, but I thought let's increase the challenge a little bit by trying to rush a little bit and seeing what happens if we rush. Okay, I'll take fawns. Do I take heart reach? Yeah, I'll take heart reach and get rid of fawns for that. And I'll take two of these, two of these. Oh my God, I'm gonna fill up all my slots, aren't I? And two of those. Do you think that's enough buffs? I don't even know if I'm going to be allowed to take all of those. And then before I begin, I also need to build up rage. I'm going to have to do this real quick. Let's get some, um... Let's get some spikes. Where are my spikes? Oh, I put my spikes away. Okay, let's grab, let's grab the spikes. Spike. Where? Wait, am I just completely missing it? Where are my spikes? <laughs> I swear to God I had spikes. Unless I have literally missed them. Are they called dungeon spikes? Oh, I don't know. All right, I guess I guess we do it without rage then. Oh, that's a shame. I'm gonna have to go get myself some more spikes, unless I'm just being completely blind today, which is probably what's happening. All right, let's buff up. Let's stand here, regen some health, and then we're gonna do the twins first. And we're gonna use the godly baronade. Wait, does it not count the endless quiver? No. Like, if I put that in the bin, Oh, okay, right. I've never used the Endless Quiver before. All right, I'm ready. Turn the minimap off. Begin. Okay. So this is how we start. I didn't grab Hunter. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to really concentrate for this fight. So I don't know what the death mode change is here, but I presume it's probably they are, like, way stronger in the second phase. Oh, I just realized I need to build up Adrenaline. Oh god, so I need to make sure I don't get hit then. Man, I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. These guys are, uh... Yeah, they seem pretty fast. Alright, so so far this isn't too bad. Oh, I'm guessing one thing is, they'll probably enter their second form a lot sooner than they would normally. No, no, don't lose that adrenaline. Okay, do not miss out on that adrenaline. I'm so close to it. Come on, finish the adrenaline. Oh, you goddamn. God damn you, twins. Oh, I was so close to that adrenaline. Okay, so I see what's happening here. So you can't damage this one, which means that essentially, yeah, okay. Just as I suspected. So essentially what happens is, is to do both of them, you have to get them both into the second phase. Okay, well, I'm guessing normal rules apply then. Just try and take out one before the other. That's a clever thing. Uh, that's a clever thing. I guess because they go into that phase so soon, though, it's not really a problem. But I guess normally I would literally split them off and do one by one. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Come on. Oh, my God. I was so close to adrenaline again. Oh, my God. Man, that is actually the worst when it happens. Okay. Let's just keep our distance. Hopefully we don't run out of time here. We should be fine for time, actually. Nice one. Okay. 
Alright, so that's one down. And now, we just have to beat the second, which is going to be, uh... Yeah, going to be super boring. Let's see what these lasers are like. If we just keep circling around, do you think I'll eventually... No, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think I'll eventually get an adrenaline hit? But I'm pretty sure I'm destined not to get one. Yeah, the game doesn't want me to. That's fine, game. I'm alright with that. Okay. Right. Oh, cool. We got a little bit of the uh, the lore there. Okay. Oh god, get out of the way. Yeah, no chance. Never getting that adrenaline, guys. I tell you what, do you want know for damage? This bow is, is honestly awesome. I'm so glad we did the scourge yesterday. Okay. Whoa. I tell you what, one thing I'm excited for. So today's obviously uh day nine of our death mode let's play. Which I don't think I said at the start. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Anyway, forget that. Uh, but today's day 9, but tomorrow, Far Cry 5 comes out, and I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie, just to mess around in Far Cry. I'm pretty excited for that. Just to let you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that was, that was number 1. Oh my god, that was hard, that. Well, it was harder. Right, let's get rid of the note, because I know it's part of the Alchemist mod, but I'm not really that interested in the Alchemist mod. The mechanical bosses. I see you have awoken Dreadon's toys. Once useful tools turned into savage beasts when their AIs went rogue. A mistake that Dreadon failed to rectify in time. Okay, open this up. We got a meme. And basically the other stuff. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gearing up now for the destroyer. That's the one I'm going to do next. Um, but I'm kind of running out of money, which is a little bit of a shame. So while I was basically just kind of doing my own thing while I waited for the next night... I decided to craft up the Rod of Discord because that's obviously a really awesome thing to do. Um, and you make it out of like Chaos Fish, some Crystal, sh not Crystal Shards, uh, some Pixie Dust and some Souls of Light. You actually need quite a lot of Souls of Light. But yeah, so I crafted that up and then I started getting to work reforging and basically merging accessories. So that's the list now. And I'm almost ready, but I was actually recommended an awesome weapon. It's apparently it's a spear. And it's called the Spear of Palavith. So apparently it's really good because it's actually going to glide over the destroyer. Uh, so I made up a melee helmet. I've got this. And then all I'm doing now before the fight begins is putting away some potions. Because I really needed the uh, the brewer, the young brewer, to show up a little bit sooner. Because what the young brewer does is he sells flasks. Which means that you can have more buffs because you're not filling up all of your potion slots. But we're going to see what happens. I also went ahead and crafted the charred idol. So let me reforge. Well, no, not, not let me reforge. Let me heal up and begin. Okay, so what? as you can see, it's dropping little bits on top of the actual uh, the worm. And that's how this works. Now, my chances of getting a uh, an adrenaline hit during this fight are probably pretty slim. Oh my god, look how many orbs it spawns. What on earth? Oh no, I just lost all my rage. Okay, I'm being really done with this fight. I need to, uh, yeah, I need to basically turn off my mini-map and focus in. I might have to be quiet during this one because I can already tell I'm already going to mess this up. And I don't want to have to keep waiting around. And I've killed every single NPC. <laughs> oh no, okay, this was an absolute mess. I didn't expect Death Mode Destroyer to be like this. I can kind of see why it is. But this is mental. This is not a Oh, God, I can't move. Okay, this is not a bad change. This is just crazy. I'm going to shut up, though. Oh, he's left. Why is he left? Come back. Oh my god, he best come back. I swear to god. What the... Oh my god. Why is he doing that? It best come back, for real. I'm gonna be so annoyed if it doesn't. 
This best come back up and charge the hell out of me. I'm going to be so annoyed. Okay, there we go. Thank God. For real, I was so annoyed by that. I was like, are you absolutely kidding me? Because there's no reason why it should have despawned anyway. There we go. That's that fight done. That was... Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was probably like my worst boss fight I've done in ages. Uh, yeah, just an absolute mess. Where did it drop all of it? Oh, there you go. It dropped all of its stuff there. Yeah, I, I did that like such a moron. Like that was a really, really weak attempt. I just didn't prepare. No! Oh my god, that's sick. Look at that. We got the uh, SHPC, which is the uh, the legendary. Oh my god, that's so good. That's absolutely awesome. I might use this for the next two bosses then. Sick. Well, that's actually really good. So let's open up this. Boom. So just general stuff. I'm probably not going to be crafting anything anyway until I actually get all of my... Uh, until I've done all of the mechanical bosses. God, that is awesome. Look at that. Wow. I tell you what, having the melee helmet really helped as well because it took us up to 69 defense. I think even if I was to use this, I would still use a melee helmet. Oh my god. That was that was good. Actually, do you know what? Let's see. I've got I've got I actually do have let's turn off swords. I actually do have the uh the other helmet, the mage helmet. Let's see. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, I might use this, because this seems awesome. Right, I'm going to wait around a little bit, because I actually have to wait for all my NPCs to spawn back in. And then once they've all spawned in again, I'm going to start like buying potions and, and getting ready for the next fight. But I'm really happy with how that went overall, because we did get a legendary from it. So you can't really complain about that. Okay, I've got a lot of waiting to do now, so I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so I'm almost ready now for Skeletron Prime. It actually took three in-game days to actually get all my NPCs back. Like, it's really frustrating when that happens, but it's completely my fault for uh, for doing a terrible uh, destroyer fight. Right, so let's get this little buff, because why not? If we can get any kind of buff, let's take it. I might actually have to be quiet during this fight, because I believe there's a lot of lasers to deal with here. So if I, you know, want to be quiet, I'll do it. I think you guys would rather see a win than hear me blabble on <laughs> and lose. So, now that I'm ready, let's buff up. I haven't got heart attack, even though I've got full rage. That might be a little bit... It might be something to do with the timing of when I heal up, or it might you might just get later. Okay, alright, we're almost there. So, I should have... Yeah, okay, cool. Right, I don't know which part I'm going to use. I might use this part here if I can get the skull close enough, and then that if I'm not. But I think this is probably going to be the best, because destroying the head is the win, right? Okay. Oh, God. Right, this, yeah, this is rough. <laughs> I can already tell. Right, I think the trick is probably going to be moving, though, and not getting hit by those lasers. Because he shoots out a lot of lasers. Okay, right, so one thing I did want to mention real quick, guys. I hope I don't mean to bore you with this, but I have a business email on my YouTube account. I have it on both my YouTube accounts. Uh, you know, I was literally going to say in a video the other day, I'm really proud because over the past, like, five years, I've had that email there and nobody has messaged it like a fan or anything like that. Um, but this past week, I must have had about 50 emails on that email address. So I just want to say... Please do not email that. It is literally for business requests only. Because if I miss a business request because it's absolutely filled with spam, I'm going to be so annoyed. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a rage boost. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably what I'm going to get. This is going so well. I'm so happy with this fight. I've been so happy with my death mode run in general, to be honest. Like, I don't- I haven't had a major hurdle yet. I think the first hurdle's literally coming up, though. I think it's either going to be the Brimstone Elemental fight, because I think that's going to be really challenging for me, or I think it's going to be Calamitous. Like, I think- not Supreme Calamitous, just Calamitous. I think, honestly, that's going to be the first real hurdle here. But I think if I make the right accessories and make a nice open area and really concentrate, I think I can do- 
you know, I think I can do both of them. All right, I'm going to be quiet now and I'm going to speed the rest of this fight up because it's taking a while. And, uh, and I just want to make sure I don't lose it because I'm coming pretty close to the end. Alright, I'm going to bring back my uh, commentary in because we've just got another adrenaline boost and I think this is going to be the end of the fight, so let's see. Yeah, there we go. Sick. Right, <laughs> not bad, honestly. For a death mode change, I think that was really, really good. Like, that was cool. A blood red inferno lingers in the night. Yeah, I honestly think that was a really, really cool death mode fight. That was a real challenge as well. I feel like if I haven't been a... I don't know, I've been like really working on getting better in Terraria, and I think if I hadn't worked on that, I probably would have lost that really easily. Like, I think Chippy from six months ago would have just died to that fight multiple times. So we're going to open all that, put that away. Now, to my understanding, there's a new accessory that we can make. If I get all these out, or if I just get one out, apparently it's a really awesome accessory. So let's see. I was having a look at the crafting recipes earlier with uh, Souls of Might. This is it. It's called Burden Breaker. Equiptable, the good time, go fast. See, so yeah, I think it's a speed increase. It seems pretty cool. I may as well make it because I can. And is there anything else I can make that would be like really, really good for the next fight? Oh, I can make angel treads? No way. Oh. Oh, they're really good. I love angel treads. I need to make lava waders though. Which means I need to get buckets of water and buckets of uh of lava. I think that's something for tomorrow. Just hopefully I don't forget. So I'm not going to take that to my next fight with me. Anything else that I could really do with? Okay, that's... Okay, right. Let's let's put this away. What was that? What was that accessory called? Let's just double check. It was called... Burden Breaker. Cool. Right, let's... Let's put that away for now. Let's make a Burden Breaker. Burden Breaker. Warning. May have disastrous effects. Oh, oh, I remember this. Is this not the thing that like makes you go ridiculously fast? If so, I'm scared to use it in case it breaks my recording. Let's, uh, well, hopefully we're fine. Yeah, it is. You just shoot through the world, essentially. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's obviously not going to be useful for our fight, but we'll keep that on. <laughs> that is really cool, though. Alright, so I guess it's time to do uh, Brimstone Elemental now. I don't think I'm going to do this one first try though, guys. I think this one's going to take some uh, some getting used to. So, I'll see you there in a second. I'm just going to build up the rest of my rage. So, I didn't want to get caught off guard for this boss, so I actually looked it up and did a little bit of research. It looks really hard. Uh, well, it looks especially hard for me because it has somewhat of a bullet hell in it. It has a mode where it kind of shoots up and down, but it shoots really fast. So you have to kind of like bob and weave like this. And that's going to be really tricky for me. So I'm going to do this fight silent, which I know is a little bit annoying because I've already done that a few times today. But I think it will really, really help me out. So without further ado, now that I've got my uh, heart attack buff and I've got this, let's regen some health and get into it. I'm pretty excited because I know that this is going to be a hurdle for me. Like I really do like... This is going to be really hard. Like, I, I don't expect to get it first try or anything like that. So I've even made it a second one because I'm super prepared. Okay. Let's begin. Alright, so there we go. That was the fight. Really, really hard. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm going to really struggle with that, I can tell. Uh, it's just the way I play personally. I'm absolutely trash at stuff like that. I don't think I got the rhythm down anyway, because what was happening was, when I was, like, trying to drag it to the left, it would start shooting to the right, so I wouldn't have time to kind of move around and stuff. I'm going to give that one more attempt. Maybe I'll speed that one up. I just did. 
I'll give it one more attempt and then I'm literally done for the day because <laughs> I've put in so many hours into today's episode. I've tried to make it as good as possible, but this win would be even better, but it's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. So let's, uh, let's get everything in preparation. We'll do it. Okay. Going to do round number two. Going to be silent for this one as well. Didn't get, I don't get why I didn't get heart attack. I, I only ever get heart attack randomly. It seems. Oh, and I'm also going to use the melee helmet this time, uh, the mage helmet this time to see if that makes a difference. It probably won't. Probably make it worse. But we're going to see. I have to leave my minimap on, unfortunately. Okay, silent fight. Let's go. Oh my god, that is done. Can I be honest with you guys? I absolutely hated that fight. Like, for real. Like, I've done it now, so I can say it. But it was getting me so angry how, like, it only pops up for a second and then vanishes away. And then the only time when you actually can attack it is when it's doing that crazy thing where it shoots out a bunch of projectiles. And it's like, what's the point, man? Because you can't even hit it during that. So, yeah, that was a lot harder than any of the mechanical bosses combined. For real. Like, I know it only took me two attempts, but my god, did that annoy me? Okay, so here we go. So we got a demonic brim lance. Very cool. Very cool. And an arcane jahina. Cool. Cr drops brimstone fireballs from the sky occasionally. All right, awesome. Well, that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I did four bosses today, and the only way I can actually do that is by cramming hours and hours worth of time into today's episode so i would really appreciate a like on this one guys you have no idea how much work went into this one it's a hell of a lot right thank you all for watching and i'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time for day number 10 peace